So I'd like to show you how information flows through the spreadsheet. Basically, the data comes in through the import form, gets processed by the data form, and then appears on various other layout tools. So let's take a look at that. If we were to go and grab the uh, import sheet so we can take a look at it. Again, it's on the far right-hand side. So the import data sheet. Um, has on it listed all the objectives. So the, the data that we see is the RVC measure number, uh, the old measure number, the name, and then what comparative we're looking at and the actual data. So if we go down and look at, for example, uh, measure 17. So measure 17 here contains the information around uh, CBO opportunity spotting. This information is brought in from the flat file that's imported and shows up in F2 CBO1. So if we just whip over to that tab, F2 CBO1, this is where the data is brought into. So here, this information on the left comes from the data dictionary. We'll look at that in a minute. This data here comes from the data import that we just looked at. And based on this data, we're able to generate both these line charts and over here, uh, the bar charts. These two bar charts are then used to calculate this overall chart, which is for leads tracking referral rates. So measures 17 and 18, with these weightings of 33% and 67%, come to this grouping. This grouping itself is part of F2. So if we go and take a look at F2, we'll see that group showing up under uh, interest leads and tracking. That's the chart here that comes from there. And it is also a component of three elements that form up the grouping of contribute to revenue growth. This chart here, based on the weighting specified. And this here shows up on the other dashboard. So for example, if we go to uh, the detailed dashboard and we go down to uh, lead track referral rates. Here's that chart again we saw from CBO uh, 1.1, the two children measures that are grouped up to create this, this one along with this one, uh, and interest referral rates gives us the revenue growth grouping that we saw. So once the chart is created on the data page, it then is used inside of a number of other pages, whether I'm looking at the L2 detailed, the L2 dashboard, or eventually shows up on L1. So that's roughly how the information flows inside of the application.